California became the 31st state in 1850. It is a land of many wonders. But more than this, it is a land of people. People who have come from all points of the compass for more than 100 years to make this the most populated state in the nation. The people are hard working, going about a variety of tasks with serious purpose. taking time out now and then for less serious moments. In California, there is imagination and talent to suit the land. And the energy of the people is astounding by world standards. Obstacles are overcome mostly in dramatic fashion. The dynamic nature of the people is to be found everywhere. But for all this spirit and growth, Californians remain a careful people. They enjoy a maximum of control in local matters, and the state government has direct lines to the people. Californians have the reputation for planning ahead, and in few areas is this more evident than in the field of education. From the very beginning of the formation of the state, they have been interested in the schools and the educational opportunities offered to the people of the state. With this concern for education, it was natural that there would be recognition of the need for education beyond high school, and provisions were made to make this education available to all citizens of the state. It has proved to be one of the most important decisions ever made. The state legislature in 1907 authorized high school districts to offer post-high school courses, and in 1910, the first junior college education was offered in Fresno. Since then, legislation has built the program of the junior colleges. And as the population of the state exploded, more and more colleges were built to fill the unique needs of the individual communities which they serve. While some junior colleges have operated as departments of high schools, separate districts have been formed to operate the junior college as a distinct community college. There are now over 70 such institutions in virtually every part of the state, with more being added every year. The junior colleges in the state work with the state-supported University of California in granting undergraduate credit. There is also close cooperation with the state college system and the numerous fine private colleges and universities located throughout the state. Nearly three-fourths of all students in the first two years of college are enrolled in junior colleges. This overall state plan frees state colleges and the state university to place their greater emphasis on the junior and senior years and on graduate work. As the junior college has fitted into the educational plan, one of its most important functions has become the education of the vast numbers of those undergraduate students, students who will transfer to colleges or universities for their junior and senior years. Since junior colleges are open to all high school graduates or to any person over the age of 18, the students who attend have varied interests and include those of the highest academic endeavors, as well as those whose talents lie chiefly in mechanical, 
artistic or other fields. It is this policy of the open door of opportunity which makes the job of the junior college both highly complex and so important to the community which it serves. Let us see what is taking place in the junior colleges. To begin with, the college becomes the most sensible and efficient means of performing the function of a community counseling service for people of all ages with educational problems. Here, all those seeking further education can be tested. And once tested, the individual can gain valuable knowledge of himself by having the results interpreted by a trained expert. What do these scores mean? How does this help me with my future plans? Perhaps the basic placement test and interview points up the need for special tests. Often this additional information in the hands of a skilled interpreter can lead to a brighter future than was anticipated. There are times when a counselor can help with a personal problem or make a special referral. Opportunities are explained also in the expanding field of vocational possibilities. Many of these fields will require no more than two years of college work. Others require a higher degree. Many times the individual has overlooked skills or has underestimated his abilities. With trained assistance, answers can be found. Many students who have just graduated from high school need more help with their futures than is commonly thought. The student, knowing that he will need more education, may not know which course to follow. He may not have decided what he wants to do in life. Faced with choosing from thousands of vocations, selecting the appropriate major, meeting requirements, and budgeting financial resources, the newly graduated high school senior is too often bewildered, confused, and discouraged. Here in the community junior college close to home, he can take exploratory courses and accredited undergraduate courses which will qualify him to enter a four-year college or university as a third-year student. While attending college, the student learns good study habits and the use of time to the best advantage is emphasized. Studies show that properly qualified students transferring from junior colleges do as well as or better than students in the four-year colleges or universities who entered as freshmen. Instructors are well qualified and take a personal interest in classes and students. Courses are taught by thoroughly prepared and certificated instructors who are teachers first and researchers second. As a result of good teaching and communication between the instructor and student, those entering the four-year colleges as juniors find themselves well prepared for the remainder of their college work. The community college does many jobs. One of its important functions is the task of training for technical skills. This undertaking is important not only to the nation and the state, but to the individual community. In our country today, it seems there are always jobs available. Most of these jobs require training, however, and those seeking work discover that the rapid rise in technology demands that workers have specialized training. Unemployment in any community creates problems for that community and is wasteful of human resources and costly to the entire nation. One of the vital functions of the junior college is to provide for the teaching of new skills and the bringing up to date of employees in matters of new techniques and to give the latest information in manufacturing procedures. In the field of electronics, there has been a revolution in maintenance and repair techniques. There has been great change introduced to the industry through the use of the newly developed printed circuit and the wide application of the transistor. This important area in our modern life requires almost continual training and instruction in operational procedures. 
Most communities require many trained electronic experts, while all communities profit from businesses which employ competent craftsmen. There are many other areas which have seen much change in recent years. During the past decade, more has been learned about the application of metals through scientific research methods, so that a metallurgy technician today needs to be thoroughly informed in matters of heat, stress, alloys, and the complex characteristics of the newly discovered metals. Training must go on constantly. It is estimated that in modern industry, five trained technicians are needed for every qualified engineer. With the growth of technology and industry, it is natural that there has been a parallel change in the field of business. The junior college has kept pace with the many changes which have taken place in business concepts. Employers in American business today now look for people who have had advanced junior college training in the business field. Modern business today operates at top efficiency and demands of its employees top methods of operation and the highest of personal standards. Business success today requires teamwork and skill from the top to the bottom of the organization. Because of this, the Community Junior College offers the latest in instructional methods. The most modern equipment is demonstrated and made available so that students can quickly learn its function and become skilled in its use. Classes in the latest type of office machine operation are in great demand as students and employees learn new skills. Management has learned that it also must keep up in the latest methods. So many courses are offered to instruct in management methods. Highly specialized courses such as hotel and restaurant management are offered in some of the larger metropolitan junior colleges. Small businessmen and salesmen serving in real estate can enroll in the real estate certification program and by making the effort, can pass on to the community more sound property buying habits. As far as direct value to the community is concerned, there are many courses offered at the junior college which lead to better services for all, such as the program in nurses training. A two-year course leads to the associate in arts degree and the registered nurses diploma. A one-year program enables the student to become a licensed vocational nurse. These candidates receive the latest in classroom instruction as well as actual experience in the community's hospitals. Their training and dedication is a welcome addition to any community. Closely related to the nursing program is the dental assistant program. When these students take the state qualifying test at the conclusion of their coursework, they will be an asset to the health standards of the community. As highly specialized as any course offered is the popular study of cosmetology. Here, both men and women not only learn the latest in styling, but study anatomy, chemistry of the body, diseases of the skin and scalp, and other health features related to appearance. Courses in the technical and vocational areas are offered both in the day and evening. Many of the trade extension classes serve the apprentice program in this manner. Our law enforcement service is a good example of the many occupations in our society which require constant retraining in order to keep pace with the changing conditions in our cities. The junior college makes it convenient to offer to these working students 
expert instruction in these changes. Junior colleges also provide instruction in agriculture and its related sciences. Classes are held not only to stress on-farm agricultural methods, but also in the newly developed areas of agribusiness and agricultural technology. There are few areas of occupational instruction which are not taught by the junior colleges, both in the day and in the high enrollment evening extension classes. So important is the communication between the junior colleges and the communities which they serve that most courses taught are guided by citizens advisory committees. These committees meet periodically with the staff of the college to help direct the nature of the course content of each of the courses given. In this way, instruction offered is the most significant in the face of constant changes within industry and business. New courses are added as the need becomes evident. The junior college serves in yet another area. In every generation, there are those who, for one reason or another, have fallen behind in their educational development. They become discouraged and generally non-productive members of our society. Rather than discount them, the community extends help through the junior college. By careful counseling and understanding, this youth and many like him can be helped along the way. Records show that many of these so-called salvage cases become outstanding students during the later years in college. Many of them, whose school careers were interrupted by the service, return with a new sense of maturity to use the latest equipment designed for review and rapid advancement. But aside from the specific preparation which has been mentioned and the many and complex jobs which are being done in the California Junior College, there is one point of emphasis which should be made. The junior college offers to the citizens of the state an opportunity to learn. Yes, to learn from early morning to late evening, near home and at minimum cost. It has been said that there is no greater responsibility in education than the task of providing the tools which make possible the development of the individual. The junior colleges believe in this principle. Courses are offered in areas of study which lead the individual to a better understanding of himself and his physical world. Many of these courses are required for the Associate in Arts degree offered by the junior colleges. Some are not. All are well attended by interested students. Courses in the arts teach poise and confidence. Skills are acquired to enrich lives. Knowledge of our heritage and a respect for the past give new meaning to the life ahead, or an appreciation is instilled for beauty which already exists. New methods increase the pleasure of learning, and the art of communication takes on a new significance. Working together to produce one single beautiful effect can teach cooperation with others and becomes a gratifying experience to the individual. There are chances to learn the latest problems and solutions in the exciting world of math and science. Fully equipped laboratories and opportunities for undergraduate research are here in the junior colleges. Instruction is of the highest quality. In keeping with the state philosophy of physical education, many classes are offered which not only provide immediate exercise of the body, but create enthusiasm for activities that can be carried on after the person has left school.
This interest will aid in maintaining physical fitness throughout life. Through a carefully designed activities program, students learn the many lessons of participation in decision making. The teaching of leadership and the learning of responsibilities which go with it is a goal of democracy. California has a well-established and organized plan of public education. The junior college is an integral part of this master plan. Without the junior college transfer program, our four-year colleges and universities would be unable to handle the ever-increasing number of citizens who are searching for higher education. Without the junior college vocational and occupational training program, our farms, businesses and industry would suffer. And without the vast areas of general education which are offered, we as a democratic nation would be less than we are today. The growth of California since 1850 can be measured in many ways. Take any one item. Population, numbers of new buildings, miles of highways, new industries, numbers of nationally acclaimed scholars. Any one single factor will show growth. Our schools today are keeping pace with this incredible change and progress, moving ahead with confidence in the future of California. Your junior college is part of this confidence. <laughs>